Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome if, if this is your first time visiting my channel. So um, we're going to talk about something a little bit outside the lanes I normally drive in within model aviation. So if you have uh, been following me, you know that I love giant scale electric model aircraft. I like to call it ginormous scale which means it's more than 150 inch wingspan. Um, the yellow and blue plane I'm flying right now has 188 inch wingspan. But I've been really trying to push to get kids into model aviation. So um, I'm gonna tell you a story about a couple of rubber powered aircraft uh, I was given. And I wanna tell you my, my thoughts on these. Now look, there's already been reviews on, there, on these and people have already created threads and talked about these two airplanes to maximize their free flight um, uh, capabilities and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is explain um, how I got these and some stuff I've been doing with them and how I think this would be really cool if you've got a kid that is wasting all their time on video games or they're dreaming of being an engineer one day you might want to get them into model aviation. Before I get too far into this, I do want to do a shout out to my sponsor, RTL Fasteners. If you need bolts, nuts, blind nuts, basically anything that's a fastener for model aviation or even other hobbies, they're probably going to have it. If you go to rtlfasteners.com and use the top secret code DAG25 uh, and you buy more than $25 worth of product, you'll get 25% off your order. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the alpha and beta that is available through the Academy of Model Aeronautics. And I have my alpha box right here. I've got my beta box right here. I've got my alpha plane. Okay. I have my beta. And I have a gillows to kind of show you the scale difference of these planes. Because when I was a kid, what really got me sparked and really interested in aviation, well, actually, I, I love to look up at the airplanes that fly over my house. When I was a kid, my house was in the downwind pattern of an airport called Brookside Airport. And Brookside's long gone. They closed it down. They built houses and crap there. But the thing is, is that I always thought when I was a kid that this was the greatest thing in the world. Okay. So the Alpha, you know, basically. So let me tell you how I got these. So I had gone up to the Academy of Model Aeronautics. It's only about an hour from where I live uh, on the northeast side of Indianapolis, Indiana. And the headquarters of the AMA is like a thousand acres with five different flying sites and they've got the museum and they got the headquarters. And there's a gentleman there who's in charge of, I think it's safety, uh, Tony Stillman, and he's a really good friend of mine, but I kind of got to know him from through flying my giant scale airplanes because I have to go through kind of a safety program to get the waiver to fly my big airplane. So him and I become really good friends and I went up and visited him because I told him I want to figure out a way to create kind of like a video series talking about what the AMA does that's good, what the AMA does that I might not agree with, and share a lot of things about the AMA with you that you may just not even know. And they get a pretty bad rap sometimes. And if you're a member, I mean, if you're not a member, you really have no say in it. Uh, if you want to have a say in what the Academy of Model Aeronautics does, uh, become a member. But when I was up there, I told them, you know, my drive is to get more kids involved. And also, when I do videos about the AMA, it's not them tooting their own horn. I'm sure they could do videos like I'm going to be doing. And people would say, oh, that's just the AMA tooting their horn. If you've followed me for the last 10 or 15 years in aviation, you know I'm going to tell you how it is. If I think something stinks or sucks, I'm going to tell you. If I think something's awesome, I'm going to tell you. But when I was getting ready to leave... We were, we were talking about how I got started as a kid. And he says, do you know about our alpha and beta plane? And I said, I have no idea what you're talking about. And he goes, let me give you these and take them home and see what you think about them. And I tell you, if you want to have some fun, 
um, how do I say this? It's, it's, you know, when I think as a kid of a gill that was like this, and they even have rubber powered ones, and actually I got some rubber powered ones here somewhere, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you could spend hours with the plane just adjusting where the wing is and creating ailerons and rudders and all this stuff to make the plane fly. Well, this Alpha comes with that stuff kind of already cut out of it. So it comes in a box. Uh, in the box, basically, you get the plane and you get this really cool winder. Whoops, hang on a minute. Let me switch back over to this screen. You get this cool little winder. And uh, this is pretty slick. So um, you get, uh, you know, basically the, the plane in the box. And um, a couple of neat things about this is, is that... Um, you know, the wings and tail and vertical stab and all, I mean, and the vertical tail is uh, some type of a foam. I, I should have nerded out and find out what it is. There's some instructions on how to put it together. But it has an under cambered wing. I mean, there's actually, it, it's really a, a neat, a neat wing. And when you assemble the airplane, and I laid down my 16-inch uh, ruler there, just kind of for scale, and you do need some masking tape. But basically, this is all you need to get the plane in the air. And um, so, and I'll, and I'll show you in a minute. I'm trying to think exactly how I want to put this. And I'm sorry, folks. Normally, my videos are a little bit better scripted than this. But I just wanted to kind of share my excitement about this. Now, the beta comes in the box. Same kind of parts in there. There's some other things I'm going to talk about in a minute that comes with this one. Um, it is just a really slick, straightforward design. And there's my ruler next to the uh, wingspan. And uh, so, on the Alpha, so here's the pros for me. When I had Gillow's rubber power and I wound it up and threw it, it might fly, I don't know, five, 10 seconds. Um, the, the elevators are punched out of this, so you can actually move the elevators. The rudder is the same. The ailerons are the same right here as the ailerons. And, you know, I'm probably getting a 20 second flight out of this, but the neat thing is that I can adjust it so that when I throw it, I'm just doing these orbits and maybe coming right back to me and I could catch it. But the, and I don't know if you can see the under camber on that wing or the camber. Um, and you do need to build, bend a little bit of dihedral into it that doesn't come with it, but this is already in it. But, and, and look, there's a lot of reviews on these out there. If you, if you Google this, you'll find the reviews, and I'm not doing a flight review on it. I'm just telling you, if there's not a lot of wind, and you just want to uh, have a really fun rubber-powered airplane, uh, and there's a part of me that wants to make this radio control. I mean, I just want to put the rudder and the elevator on a little micro um, controller of some kind. But this is really, really cool. And compared to the planes we had like when I was a kid, th this is, this. I mean, here I am, an adult. At least I'm supposed to be an adult. But this is a really cool rubber-powered airplane. And that's the Alpha. Now, the Beta. The Beta is interesting. Now... The, oh, and the cons on these, you got to be really careful when you're sliding these wings in and stuff. Um, mom and dad, if, if you don't have patience and you just start trying to start cramming this stuff together, you'll, you may tear or fold or bend some of the stuff. So take some patience. There's a neat little plastic thing here that gets the wing above the fuselage. And on rubber powered airplanes, they call the rubber the motor. And there's a lot of rubber that comes with both of them and it's different size rubber. Um... I do question the propeller they've got on this, okay? I, I know quite a bit about propellers, and this prop has a really high uh, pitch at the tip as it does at the root. So I don't know anything about free flight, but I don't know if this is a really, truly optimized propeller for this. Um, but it doesn't matter because this sucker here, I was getting 20 and 25 second flights, no problem. I heard people get minute flights out of this, but if you wind this up, oh, and it also tells you how to build a little device that you actually put the airplane in and hold it and you unhook the rubber band and then you use your winder and you just wind and wind and wind the propeller up 
and then um, you launch it and you need to have some room, okay? I um, uh, basically during lunch one day saw there was absolutely no wind. We've had a lot of wind here in Indiana. And I went over to the little park and it wasn't big enough for this. So I think you need like a missile test range or a soccer field, <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, maybe the shuttle landing place out in the desert. Um, you, you need some room for this. Don't fly this in your backyard or in your front yard or on your street if there's any trees or houses around. Um, you need some room. If you have like a soccer field or a practice football field or a, maybe a softball field, it's plenty of room. But this is really cool. I, I, see, I've never done free flight in my life. And I've seen people do free flight and I think it's really neat. But to just get something in a box for less than 20 bucks, I think this is 19.99, and just have the fun I did because, you know, I, I basically went over my lunch. I needed to get back to work. But, and I've only flown this that one time. I mean, I probably f flew it 30 or 40 times in that 45 minutes. But this, for a little rubber powered out of the box that you could um, get with your kids and fly, this is really cool and if our kids aren't already permanently damaged from video games and our cell and cell phones um this may be the gateway drug to them becoming an engineer or a elon musk or a hoot gibson or uh one of the guys at scale composites this is a really neat rubber powered plane so, folks, that's all I wanted to do was talk about these two little planes. That the uh, You can go to the Academy of Model Aeronautics website, go to shop, go to their store, and you can find these. I don't know if you're an AMA member, if you get a discount. You'd think I would research some of this stuff, right? But all I'm trying, my biggest goal right now is to try, um, I don't want to get all geeked out, but there are studies showing now that kids' brains are developing a a there's a part of the brain that is starting to develop that makes them not appreciate what they have. And an example would be somebody looking at a cell phone and seeing a 10 year old that has um, a Lamborghini already, you know, because they're a YouTube influencer or a 12 year old that, um, you know, is going to buy their first house because they're an influencer on YouTube. All these kids think that they are going to be millionaires without having to work for it. And there's a part of the brain, because I've read two or three of these studies, that's developing where they don't appreciate things. And if you get them away from the cell phone, if you get them away from the video games, I mean, you know, people make excuses that, well, you know, parents don't have time to take their kids to the flying field and do all this. There's a lot of parents that take the kids to football, take them to soccer, take them to Little League, take them to baseball, take them to Boy Scouts. There's all our Girl Scouts. There's a lot of things that we do with our kids. Um, and I'm not saying any of those are wrong. I'm just saying think about if your kid plays soccer all the time, it's going to keep them healthy. It's going to teach them teamwork. It's going to keep them away from the video games and the cell phone, hopefully. But the chance of them being a professional soccer player are probably no. Okay? Same thing with football and baseball. So all I'm trying to do is if I can get one kid to get into model aviation and become an engineer and have the passion and have the fun that I've had. I mean, model aviation has made is one of the parts of my life that has been the most fun part of my life and the joy and the reward I get out of it. I mean, when I build a 188 inch airplane from just making it up in my head and fly it, there's an enormous reward for me that I can do that. And it all started, believe it or not, with stuff like this when I was about eight years old. So, um, sure. And I know I'm going to get some haters because I'm, I can't believe how many haters are coming out there. I'm trying to get kids involved with model aviation. I think that's really crazy. But we are allowed to have an opinion. We can all allow, have, hopefully, debates and discuss things and have conversations but you got to get your kid into flying. We need more engineers in life than we need uh, kids with business degrees that become freeloaders and live in their parents' basements until they're 40. So, uh, and when I mean engineers, I don't mean this is going to be a gateway to being an engineer that builds bridges and buildings and 
stuff like that. I'm talking about creative people. Okay, you could be an aeronautical engineer, you could be an astronaut, you could get in the model aviation and fall in love with aviation, go to Purdue for four years, then go into the officer's program in the Air Force, fly fighters for 10 or 15 years, go into the astronaut program and go to the moon. There's so many gateways from model aviation into cool things in life, folks. Okay, so that's it for this video. I normally end them by asking you to get a kid uh, and take them flying. And I'm telling you, mom and dad, uh, I think this one's like $14.99 and this one's like $19.99. And that is a cheap way to get your kid hopefully spending tons of hours doing things. Okay. So, um, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching my videos. Hopefully you've already liked and subscribed by now. Uh, if you're a longtime follower, keep hitting that like button because it helps the algorithms <laughs> in YouTube. And uh, I'll see you all next time. And please be safe and get your kid involved in something besides the cell phone and video games. Okay. Uh, if it's not model aviation, then make sure it's something that makes them appreciate life. Not that everything should just be given to them. Rock on. See you all next time. Be safe. Bye.